we're at the truck stop. Why are we at the truck stop? We're checking out the KGS72 from Ocean, which is their AM FM CB handheld. And what better place to check out a CB radio than the only place that a large group of CB radio users get together, the truck stop. We're gonna see if we can find any traffic for it in FM2, but we'll, let's see if we can get a signal out and anybody can hear us. If you're gonna talk on a CB radio, you need to know CB radio lingo. Let's see if I still got it. I got one nine. Can I get a radio check? There's a fucking radio check right there. Anybody available for a radio check? Anybody got me on a radio check? I can't believe no one in this industry is uh, paying attention. Guess that means we're just gonna have to get a hold of Don. See if we can get him to help out. And we'll go screw with this later. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Matt Kester. Today we're talking all about this little guy right here, the KGS72C from Ocean. This radio was sent to me gratis for a review from our friends at buy2wayradios.com. Affiliate links in the description below if you're interested in finding out more or purchasing your own. What is the KGS72C, you might ask? Well, it is the latest Citizens Band offering from Ocean. It's actually their first Citizens Band radio that I know of, and it's also novel because it makes use of some certain developments that have happened recently in the CB radio world. Namely, the fact that CB radio is now allowed to transmit in FM or frequency modulation mode when for the past history of the entire band, it's only been able to operate in AM or amplitude modulation. Uh, what's that mean to you? Well, clear signal strength is first and foremost. Second, because of the new rules, uh, the FCC has allowed you to transmit in 4 watts versus 2 watts in AM and use things like CTCSS and DCS squelch tones, which allow you to filter out unwanted traffic. Some people call them privacy tones, but as it has been explained on this channel and many others, Privacy tones are a misnomer. Getting into it, this is Ocean's offering and it may not look much like CB radios you've seen in the past other than this gigantic rubber duck antenna. Also, this is a super heterodyne radio. That means ostensibly better quality. It's got a nice little form factor to it where it's uh, fits good in the palm of your hand. It's also got right on the side here, a USB-C charging port, which means you don't always have to find the cradle to get this thing recharged, which is a great feature, and I'm glad to see that Ocean is finally uh, adopting that and rolling it out in their new products. If you're familiar with CB radio, you understand that there are 40 channels that CB radio talks upon. This radio here will do all 40 in AM or in FM mode. Uh, there is also a way to store extra FM frequency and tone combination modes. That being said, it's still a CB radio. It's time to do some testing here. Let's see if we can get Don on the radio. WRKX 996, WRD 635 on Simplex. You copy? Yeah, I got you. What channel do you want to go to on the CB? Thirty, like you said. I'll just, uh, I'll run uh, out front here real quick. Hi. All right, I got some traffic on thirty right now. Let's go. Uh, let's go thirty-one. I get the squelch turned all the way down. Is that loud transmission on the CB? Uh, can you hear me on the CB, Don? You got me on the CB. Transmitting on 31. Yeah, just do uh, Try it again. I'm not hearing anything. Okay. I just transmitted. Were you on FM or AM? I'm on AM. Yeah, I got no joy. Can you hear me when I transmit on it? I'll test it here a second. You got a copy, Don. Don, you got a copy. 
You getting anything on it? Yeah, I tried to hear it, just not on the CB. I heard a carrier, though. All right, I'll kick it up to the, uh, the FM side and see what happens here. Let me know when yours is switched over. Don, you get a copy on the FM on the CB. FM on the CB. I got a copy. Well, I actually got you too on a rough copy this time. It's real faint, but you're there. Try it again, just like so put it up to the camera. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the GMRS just for a uh, comparison. So that's one mile, and it's already this bad. There you go on GMRS. Yeah, I got you on 16. It's uh, much better on, on here. Okay, so that only being a mile, I mean, this thing's kind of worthless. I don't even know if I should go much further. It isn't. I mean, I didn't copy it all on AM. I just got a carrier, and then on uh, that. Just, uh, it was pretty rough. And you're only about a mile away or left? Uh, just right at a mile, man. I'm at. There you have it. At a mile in normal city areas, this thing's functionally useless. So, go figure. All right, back to the ranch. So, as far as how it sits as a radio, I really like it. Um, the form, smaller form factor, all these things that I've said that I've liked. But a lot of its shortcomings, which we're going to get into next, um, they aren't necessarily Ocean or the radio manufacturer or the person who's retailing the radio's fault. It just has to do with the limitations of CB radio and those that are placed upon it by the FCC. And first and foremost among this is range. Because CB operates on such a low megahertz frequency with such a long bandwidth, the signal doesn't like to cut through urban environments, and I found that out talking to my friend Don. We had to kick these things up to FM mode to get those extra 2 watts of power to really punch through and be heard over one mile. Whereas, I can stand on my patio four miles away and talk to Don with a GMRS HT no problem. That's the underlying issue with the wavelength on these particular radios because it's such a long wavelength. It doesn't cut through bushes, buildings, urban environments well. It, does ostensibly do well when you're out in the open country going down the road but even so i've never been able to get more than a couple miles off of the stock cb radio thinking that maybe this was a limitation of an urban environment i took this thing up with me to the top of humphreys peak the toppest point in all of the state of arizona with a nice 180 degree view of interstate 40 from probably as far east as winslow to as far west as kingman and i tried this on several different frequencies God only knows who we're going to talk to up here. Let's just try channel 19, see if I can get a copy back. Look at how much signal's going on there. Breaker Breaker 1-9, anybody got a copy? Breaker 1-9, anybody around Flagstaff, Arizona got a copy? Breaker, breaker, one nine. Anybody got a copy? Let's see if we can make a contact. That's a pretty strong signal. Everybody on sixteen got a copy. Copy that. Which 20? This is fucking CB. This is why this is horrible. Well, I'm about to freeze to death up here. And all I'm going to get is truckers and prostitutes. So let's get off this mountain. One more time on 19. Anybody got a copy on 19? Anybody out there? This is why CB's garbage, okay? It's just nothing but interference and crap. Nothing of real substance. Like, 
you got some dickhead playing Dixie. How does that serve anybody? GMRS is so much better. As you can see, I didn't get any results. I could hear a lot of people and hear a lot of traffic. And again, this is another shortcoming of CB, is that because it is that high frequency, it's very prone to skip and be able to be heard across great distances because of the way it's skipping across the ionosphere and the way that the radio signal behaves at those frequencies. The other thing, and a blessing and a curse, CB radio doesn't require any kind of licensing. So anybody can use one of these without having to report anything to the FCC as far as their location, who they are, blah, 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 blah. All in all, I don't think that this is a radio that I personally would buy to own because I don't have a good use for it. And what I mean by that is, is I don't really need to communicate with truck drivers anymore, nor do I want to. And there are better options out there for communicating at the distances I want to communicate in simplex mode, but also having the ability to communicate in duplex mode, which would put me in GMRS or ham territory. With this being priced at $120, you can go buy a good, decent ham radio or GMRS radio to use for the price of this radio. Now, that's not to say that this is completely useless, and I do see some value in this in a couple of limited scopes. And one of them is for pilot car drivers who are looking for a backup radio when they get out of the vehicle to flag traffic. Well, now you've got a smaller, more compact, easier to use, easier to handle CB radio handheld. Because in the past, they jump out of their pilot vehicle with one of those big Cobra stacked up with batteries cb radio handheld units and then have to deal with their mobility and handling this thing which was like the size of the world's biggest paperweight the other person i would recommend this to would be anybody who um, has an existing need for cb radio hts you know basically if your four-wheeling or off-road group only uses cb well this is a good option and the other cool thing about it because it comes in this newer ocean chassis almost all or if not all of the accessories that you're going to see coming out for things like the s88g are going to fit this so that's good to know that's my hot take on the kg s72 charlie let me know in the comments below what you thought Till next time be good